What's digging guys, how are ya? I've got another repair for you guys tonight. Um, I'm doing a iPad Pro. I think this is a 9.7, A1701. Um, 10? Oh man, I have to look up what it is. 17, A701, A1701. This is an <laughs> iPad Pro 10.5. Holy shit, get it out. This is an iPad Pro 10.5. This one came in because it's no longer turning on. It's not charging or anything like that. So we're just going to get in there and see what we can do about it. So I'll take you guys along for the ride. Um, first off, if we whack it on charge, we're going to see that it's drawing 0.475 milliamp and then jumping up to 0.8. It's just not, nothing's happening. So let's just get into it. So while I was just making my TikTok on this and I'm also going to post just for a bit of a quicker repair, not long form on YouTube, we can actually see that it does try and charge intermittently. So it comes on and then it stops. But if I push down here, we can see if we give it a sec, is it going to make a liar out of me? Oh, come on, don't do it to me. There we go. So it just depends on the orientation, how much we wobble the actual port, which straight away tells me it's a port. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in there, um, pop off the screen, change out the port, and Bob's your uncle, all that stuff, that is your heart. <laughs> so when we start to get into this iPad, I've already gone ahead and I've taken off these screws all down here, which will allow this cover to pop off. We can also then disconnect the battery with the screw there, um, which will enable us to get the logic board out. So whenever I've got all the screws out and the rest of us, all these kind of um, FPC connections, whether it's speakers, front camera, etc., once they're all out and it's ready to go, I've said this before, but I don't like using heat on a logic board. I mean, the battery's right there. I don't know. I just don't like it when the other option is using some alcohol. So literally for me to get out logic boards, it's going to sound uh, look a little bit aggressive, but we're just using alcohol along here. It's not a dangerous thing at all. From there, what I like to do is grab one of my prying cards, not metal, because it's not ideal to pry at a logic board. And I'll literally just work around, oh, I'll literally just work around the board to be able to get rid of that adhesive that's holding it down. I'll hit it from the other end if I can. I definitely can, I just gotta find a good entry point. Come on, mate. Here, down here. There we go. It's a business. Start working along here. Careful of that battery FPC. We don't want to, uh, oh no, it's not an FPC. The battery terminal, I guess, that's not working very well. So let's try over here. You know what, one thing about making this content on YouTube and talking while I do it, I find it hard to multitask at what I'm doing correctly, as in what I know to do and how to talk about it correctly. It's um, a talent in its own. Not saying I'm talented, I'm just saying to be able to talk about what you're doing while doing it successfully and not, not actually just talking Cropola, like actually providing value. Come on, mate. Maybe a bit more alcohol. You know what I mean, guys? Drop a comment. Smash the like button if you know what I'm talking about. What's that doing there? Get rid of that one. But seriously, smash the like button. Let's not mess around with that. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Um... Come on, get underneath there. Come on. For every time you roll your eyes about how long this is taking me, smash the like button. But smash it an odd amount of times to make sure that it ends up on like, not dislike. There we go. We got that card under. So just to show you guys a bit closer there, what I've actually done is I'm just working this card underneath that logic board to pry up all that adhesive. Um, the idea is heat's not good for the battery. I mean, a little bit of heat's not bad, but I don't know, this work, this seemed to me, seems, seemed to me, this seems to me, this seems like this works the best. Can I get English out today? I've had 10.7, I've had 9.7, don't even know what I'm talking about, what I'm working on. Come on, guys, jeez. And then I said, seems to be isopropyl. Should hear me say isopropyl alcohol. Jeez, let's not get into it. This is not an English lesson. This is a repair. And just like that, we've got the logic board out. So now that we've got the logic board outside the housing, we can get rid of that for now. So for the iPad Pro, um, well, pretty much a lot of these actually, I don't think since the iPad third gen, um, they haven't been soldered, but essentially the dock 
along here. Oh, it's actually underneath the other connection. But anyway, along here, the dock is soldered on. So the only way to get this one out is by desoldering it and then soldering on a new one. I think showing you guys this way is gonna be a little bit easier. So that's the new dock, all those gold tabs. Is it gonna focus? Bloody hell, these cameras, mate. There we go. So all those tabs there, come on, do it again. Do it for me, daddy. Come on. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Oh man, these cameras, I tell you what. Anyway, all those tabs there um, have to be soldered and matched up to all the pads along here on the board. So anyway, let's just get into it. So anyway, with that out of the way, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna chuck it in our logic board holding clampy thingo majigo here. I'm thinking about getting a bunch of these in for my online store, store.hawker.com. Check it out, tell everyone about it. Once we've got it in here, we can pull our scope over here. We can switch you guys over to the scope and I can show you particularly what I'm actually talking about. So here is the back of the dock. If we grab um, my tweezers, I can peel back this sticker here. It's gonna let me, come on, man. Again, it's the talking on camera while I'm doing things. I feel like everything's just about to fall apart. This is like my fourth long form video. Second one, first time that I've had a streak in a week. This is gonna be my second one. I hope you're proud, guys, I'm proud of me. Mate, let's keep going. All I'm trying to do is get this dock exposed. And like I said, it's gonna make, it's gonna make it real hard. You know what? I'm getting frustrated. I'm gonna pop it outside the clampy, clamping the jigger, cause maybe that's not why that's happening, but it's just kind of bending when I'm trying to get a grip on it. So hopefully with it outside, we've got, and we now don't have to worry about it. Oh, kinda. Man, these tweezers are annoying. They just have like no grip. Oh, these are even worse and they're dirty. How embarrassing. Hang on, give me another one. You'll be like, Max, why do you have so many tweezers? And I'll be like, because I drop them, they bend. The minute they start bending and warping, bloody hell, they're annoying to work with. There we go. You know what? Why don't I just chuck down some alcohol? Do it. Thanking you. Thanking you. That's what I'm after. That's the business, guys. So this is what I'm talking about. Once I can grab that, is it going to let me grab? Oh, man. Dude, how many maxes does it take to peel off the um, back sticker to an iPad Pro 15.7 inch charger dock? Obviously, I know it's a 10.5 inch. I'm having a laugh at myself. My own expense. <laughs> He's hilarious. Anyway, come on, man. Bro, I'm, I'm just going to lose it. I am going to lose it. I've almost got it. All right, cool. We don't have to lose it. We don't have to get angry. All right, we got that exposed pretty much. So this is what I'm talking about. It's all soldered on. If I grab the new dock and show you for comparison, so this one has to come off and this one has to go on. Bit of piss, mate. From here, what we want to do is chuck down a little bit of flux. I'm also recording on TikTok, guys, if you hear the... Hang on, I don't even know if the camera made that noise then. Anyway. Next up, we're just going to grab some low melt solder for our soldering iron. You're gonna hear me repeat myself for the TikTok, so deal with it. So then we're gonna come in with our soldering iron and tin up those pads. All right, I've done that. Now I can actually watch what I'm doing. TikTok magic, mate. I gotta talk about it and then do, do it. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So when I come in with these docks, the reason why I'm adding low melt is because, I mean, if it's not explanatory, is when I then heat up the dock, I'm not fighting with factory solder. I really need my fume extractor out here. I sit here breathing in like 20 packets of cigarettes while I'm doing this one dock. Mmm, tin in my lungs. Mum would be proud. So yeah, anyway, going off on tangents. What I'm doing, adding that low melt to the dock, 
until it looks nice and schmick. Looking pretty good. Again, guys, just doing TikToks as well, so deal with it. Um, and then from here, what we want to do is smash it with some heat. Never copy, I keep saying this, I'll say this every video, don't copy people's temps, but because I'm using low melt, I'm coming in at 335, and I'll smash it at like 85 air, 90 air. Then we'll come in and smash it with some heat. Again with the TikTok guys, thanks for dealing with it. All right. So now that we've tinned up those pads, I'm gonna start actually properly smashing it with some heat so you guys can watch. Again, the TikTok magic. I don't know how many times I have to say this. I don't know why I'm changing my heat, but I am. I changed my mind. We're coming at 355, 90. So I'm gonna get in real close so you guys can see the action. Mate, is that looking good? I reckon that's looking pretty grouse. Now the plan is to, see, you just saw it already. They go liquidous. Look at this. This is what we want to see, baby. Baby. Maybe I need to back off a little bit so you can get the whole picture. Yep, there we go. So from here, I'll actually show you one end. So you can actually get the action for it. So from here, what I like to do is just use the weight of the dock. I come along here on the corner. And I just slowly start going, your mum's your dad. So it starts pulling out. Come on. It will do it. I just don't like forcing it. I've only ever destroyed one dock, and that was a dock that I, I think it was the second dock I practiced on. The first one I nailed, probably a little bit out of luck, a little bit out of being real patient. And the second one I was, um, I don't know, I was just pushing the limits. Are you guys seeing? You're not. I'm going to have to reposition you. Give me one sec while I let that dock not pull down too much. So we can see the difference between these pins over here. They've, these have holes where the solder comes through, and then these ones that actually have solder on them. But again, is that the best view? Guys, smash the subscribe. Let's get the view time up, this monetize, and I kid you not, I'll chuck so much money, production value, at this that you guys will be able to see the surface of the moon from a microscope. Anyway, so we can see that that's getting all liquidous. I'm not prying, I'm letting the um, I'm letting the heat do the work, it's not me. Just like that. Boost baby! Looking good! Look how good that looks! You know, you never get over your work, your craftsmanship. There's a, some shit that you do in this job that when you look at it, you're just like, bloody hell. Hang on. Oh, man, this alcohol pumpy. I swear. Bro, it's the worst thing ever, trying to get alcohol on my clean room wipe. Bruh. It's just not working. But anyway. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Look how good that looks. I mean! Before I go nuts, and you guys are just hearing that noise, not having context of what I'm actually talking about, this thing, it's meant to get it. Oh, now it does. The minute I show you guys, every time, I've had enough of your alcohol. So with all that out the way, the next part here is to connect these um, pads onto this guy here. Now, before I do that, I actually like to prep this up proper. So even though it might be redundant, I really don't know, but um, I like to clean it up. So they're nice and tidy. Man, they're good looking pads. Good looking pads. Um, I'm gonna come in with some of my, oh, some of my, um, my tip. Just the tip is what I'm gonna come in with. The big tip. This big tip is what I'm talking about. It's what I'm talking about. Um, so with the flux down and my wick, 
I'm going to come in with, oh, is that even heating up? Tip. It just says tip on my, there we go. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. Now, we're just going to plant it down. We're not going to start pulling straight away. We want it to be liquidous under there. Just like that. Just like that, we're breathing in more leaded solder. Mmm, Alzheimer's with a hint of repair. Um, that's a lead joke about getting lead in you. I'm not making a joke about Alzheimer's. Do you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't get cancelled. I'm just trying to do repairs here, guys. Um, slowly, 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 slowly. So I don't pull a pad. Because if you accidentally let this cool down while you're doing this, and your wick grabs onto a pad, you can say yeet, or not yeet, rip to your pad. Because obviously, like, it will solder, if it, not wells, but if it fuses onto this dude and you pull, mate, there is nowhere for your dot to connect to, and there's no alcohol coming. Bro, I tell you, look at this. I can't even show you guys. It's just not. Oh, man. I'm going to lose my nana. Come on. I'll bet you if I switch you guys over here and then I do these ones. Nothing. Oh, bro. I've had enough. Um, one of my employees was complaining about this the other day. She's like, never works. And right in front of her, I was just like, come on, use it proper. And then I started using it, it worked. And I like look at her going, see, I told you. Or not, see, I told you, but I'm like, come on. You didn't try hard enough. And here I am just struggling with it. Does my head in. Just design a better one. Come on. Mate, look how wet she is now. Yee! Now that I've got uh, this alcohol, moister than an oyster, the plan is to get the clean room cloth nice and wet. We're going to come in and get rid of that alcohol and that flux. I mean, not get rid of the alcohol and the flux, just the flux. Look at that. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Man, that's good. Let's get rid of this last bit of stickiness around here. Sticky, sticky, sticky. And we're good to go. So now from here that we have that all cleaned up, and we're ready to go. What we're going to do next is we're going to chuck down some fresh solder, but only a little bit. And then we're going to hit it with our iron. Where's our solder at? Come on, mate. Our solder. We need some flux in here. Up in here. Oh, no, I can't do that. Copyright. YouTube's so different than um, TikTok. I'm sitting here, not hyper paranoid, but just like worried that I'm going to say like a lyric to some shit. And then it's game over. It's, mate. Ripped his shit. Not that I'm monetized, but good habits. Forming good habits. Brain going off on a tangent. Do you know what that's like? Where no matter what you say, it leads to another thought. There's never an, a coherent train of thought. It just travels forward. But anyway, so I've got a little bit of solder on here. We're going to come in. Oh, baby. We're just going to make love to those pads. Make them all nice and even. We've got that factory solder off by cleaning it. These nice and even. With, oh, we don't want some salt. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but anyway. Mate. Just that last one there. How good. All right, now that we've got that done. Anyway, let's not get too obsessed with our work. We're going to peel this guy off. We're not going to worry about him in the clamp actually anymore because we need him to be more flat. I don't want as much flux. I don't like working with that much flux while I do these docks. Come on, mate, focus. How about someone invents a auto-focusing microscope um, camera? So I don't have to sit here doing this. Or is there one? Are you part of the repair community? and know of a microscope camera that isn't like that. Come on. All right, so we've got a bit of flux on there. It's not everywhere. I've used my finger to set, spread around, deal with it. Fingers to spread, let's get in there. Um, that's what she said. 
Anyway, we're going to cover... Oh, I thought those were for that. Hmm. Give me one sec, guys. All right, I'm back. The reason why I left, hang on, I'll show you in a sec, is the dock that I had was actually an Air 3 dock. And I realized just by looking at it, I was like, what's going on here? And then I've just confirmed that this uh, cutout in the corner and these numbers down here match the uh, Pro 10.5, 15.7 that we're working on. Lol, that was a joke from before. before. Did you get the reference? But anyway, let's come over to here. And we're going to... See, now we've got a circle. We're not going to get circle jerked. Jerk me circle. Jerkle me circle. All right, so we've got this. Whoops. Hang on. I'm going to keep moving if I don't reposition this, so deal with it, guys. So what I'm doing is you've got these little translucent tabs, like this guy over here. See, he's got to line up with that little square dude there. And then we've got another dude over here. So as long as they line up, I've got, whoop, come on, one at a time. One lined up, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two lined up, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I like to just do it like that. I'm going to pin it down with fingers on one end. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in and focus, you guys. Here, we're going to chuck down a bit of flux. I'm going to come in over here and I'm not coming in. So I'm getting rid of the excess solder on my tip. I don't want any on the tip. I want the tip to be nice and we're going to raw dog it in. We're coming in raw, guys. Oh, come on. Grab, grab. There we go. So it's grabbed him. Come on. I really need tweezers over there. I should just use my fingers. Look, I'll use my fingers. I'll just try to do it so you guys can see, but I guess you can still see. Anyway, one, two, is that one going to light up? Three, four, five. So the idea is it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around, and I'll show you why, what I do at the end. But essentially, now that we've got those first couple in, we've got our groove happening. We're going to take tweezers now because we don't want to burn our fingers. Finger, fungus are good to get in there because you've got more dexterity and more control where the tweezers will let you pin it actually down. This is how I always do it. I see other people do this real quick. I take my sweet time with it. You've got to take her out to dinner, meet the parents, treat her well, take your time is what I'm trying to get at. And you'll get a good result out of it every time. She'll be grateful. She'll like you. She'll, etc. I don't want to take this analogy too far. Now we're doing the business. So we don't have to sit here treating it too full on. Except I'm running out of flux, which is why it's being a bit more of a bitch. It'll chuck down some more flux. Flood it. Flood it with the flux, the flux capacitor. Marty. Anyway, that one down. We've got that one down. Come over here. That one down. And him. Now that they're all done, I'm just going to pin him, particularly in the area that I'm doing. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to quickly go back over it. Make sure that there's nothing there. That um, could be better. Bit of lumpy bumpy dudes in him. All right, we've got him out the way. Now, I guess the next part here is to, if I zoom out a little bit, I'll clean him up so you guys can see the end result. I mean, this is an end. We've still got a bit more to do. But we've got the new dot connected. And now I guess the part here, or not I guess, I know, the part here is to check for a healthy draw. So we're just going to come in. We've got to be real soft because this is low melt. We don't want to break it, which is also what I've got to change. Plugged in. And I will. this will be the part 
where I edit in a clip from my phone here to show you guys the healthy draw that we're talking about. The action, the piece of resistance, the bit that looks good, but that's a charging iPad. Anyway, so one last thing guys, while we're doing this, one last time we're gonna chuck down a little bit of flux. From this little bit of flux, we're then gonna come in with our raw dog and tip, and we're not gonna let it be raw anymore, we're gonna chuck something on him. Now this is higher melt solder. So we're just gonna reinforce this baby, but if we come in and catch some of that flux, bruh. I'm gonna get you guys real close in there. So it's like you live there, man, you buy a house. Oh, look at that pad. Look at that, bro. You find me sexier solder than that. And mate, <laughs> My neighbor's gonna think I'm nuts talking to myself. They know I live by myself, and then they just hear this shit coming out my mouth. Bro. All right, with that done, we're fully done here. All good. We're gonna come back here. We can clean him up a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. You, it's hard to respect it, but geez, that's good. There's one guy there that I'm like judgy on and I want to be a perfectionist and that's this guy here, but I'm not going to be. I don't care if he's got a little bit of extra love on him. He's keeping it. Um, from here, guys. What I want to do is actually grab some of my capped on tape. Capped on tape? Is it capped on or capped on? Um, it is the anti high temperature melt tape. And I'm just going to cover up those solder pads. Um, you guys don't need to see what I'm doing on this end. I can switch you over to this camera here. Why didn't that just switch? There we go. Switch here. Here's my mess. Deal with it. Um, but essentially, what we're going to do, we need this capped on tape wherever. Here we go. Guys, are you ready for the next 10 minutes? Me trying to find the end of this tape. Oh, I think I just found it. I did. Um, we're going to peel back some of this. So I have my plyma jiggers. I do have my plyma jiggers. We're going to trim. We're going to put it down. Look, this is going to be too long. Yeah, it is. Give me a sec. I need... It's... Damn it. Where's my... Um, somewhere in here. Um... Bloody hell. Here we go. Took me a minute to find it. Um, it's thinner. I'm trying to use this shit, but that's too thick. Oh, so we're just gonna use this. I was being lazy, guys. I didn't want to get too distracted. But anyway, this off clip. We're then gonna come in. And we're going to go along here. Bro, bro. And from there, we're going to chuck it back in our housing. All right, I've got it back in the housing. I'm um, just got to connect these last couple of connections up here. I've then got to put the screen on. And then, call it all in a day's work, mate. Lol. I would be interested to know whether you guys like the editing style of this one better, whether you like the live streams better, whether you like the TikToks better. What what do I put out? Honest question. I'm not after you telling me, oh, I love everything you do. I'm curious. What is the best kind of content I put out? Is it the ones where I'm loud and obnoxious myself? Is it the ones where I'm more informative and don't seem so obnoxious like myself? Is it, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What kind of content do you like, guys? Do you like this content? 
well, I'm just trying to get a view on that battery. I can pin it down. Curious, if you got this far and you haven't smashed subscribe, does analytics say that about 30% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed? Mate, it's not good enough. With that in there, we can flip it around. We can grab the charger from over here and plug it in. I'm not gonna sit here and bend it or anything like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, charger symbol. Let's go. And with a little bit of cinema, uh, cinema, cinema, with a little bit of cinema magic, editing magic, we've now got a working iPad. I mean, I've already filmed the TikTok. Um, I hope that was a good one. I feel a lot more comfortable about this video than I have others. It just feels more normal. Um, I think the other ones, I'm sitting there thinking about editing out what parts and saying shit properly. Here, I'm just doing a take, and if I like it, I keep it, and it's working out to be the same as TikTok. Typically, it takes me one or two takes per things I want to say. But anyway, I don't need a yarn about that. I actually do care um, if you like it, of course. So if you do, smash like. If you don't, dislike it, just bomb it. I'm one of those guys. I'm going to say the opposite to what other people say. I'm not going to say smash a like button. Smash the button that's appropriate, including the sub button, the notification, ring that bell. No, I'm done. I'm not going to keep going on like this. But I do appreciate it. Um, thanking you guys so much. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you think, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Till next time, really appreciate you guys. Cheers.